Hello and welcome along and welcome to this first look at Lancy Boy's brand new map. This is Oak Hill and um, actually we're starting off in uh, one of the big areas that I like to test on the map. We're starting off with a house in the woodlands uh, which are beautifully detailed. Um, lots and lots of detail in these. Lots of, uh, of stuff that uh, really makes it. Also, I love this on the edge. We are right on the northern edge of this map. And we can't get through here. But we've got, we've got lots of detail on the other side. So you can't actually see the edge of the map easily. Really, really awesome start to this. Uh, we've got a new landy to drive around with this because I keep getting asked on these map uh, first looks. Where does the Land Rover come from? This is available on King Mods. Uh, you can go and grab this uh, if you want to grab a landy for your game. But enough about that. Shall we go and have a drive around? Actually, first, let me show you the, the actual PDA for this because this map looks humongous. 121 fields is the biggest number I've got on here. Um, I believe that's, uh, yeah, I believe it's 121 is the maximum. Uh, but look at all these fields. Look at how much he's stuffed into a normal size map. And I say normal size map because the version we're looking at today, this is the version that will be going for console. Yes. This map will be available for both PC and console. Uh, it's the console version we're looking at. Um, once this is, uh, this is about a 99% ready version. Uh, it's got no vehicles on it yet. No standard vehicles on it set up. Um, and it's, it's just about there. So uh, we'll also be making some suggestions for, for what I think uh, should be the vehicles. Uh, that you start with on here. Um, looking at, at basically the setup of here. You own at the moment one, two, three, four fields, I think. So 47, 51, 52, uh, 107, and 109. Uh, and uh, and yeah, it's quite a big, big. Well, it looks like a big map, but I don't think it is as big as the, as the map itself looks. We're going to head out this way. I do love this house. So this house is at the top. This is where you spawn for... Uh, we, we're we on New Farmer at the moment. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where you spawn for that. I'm going to take my hand off the mouse. Because I don't want to be flinging the uh, camera around all the time. Lots of nice new custom buildings on here. Um, mainly centred around the animal areas. Uh, so we're going to have a look at those in a bit. But... I, I, what a little I've seen, because I've obviously had to get this Land Rover back. What little I've seen of the yards and things so far has been impressive. I love the detail in here. And I love the, I love the tightness of these yards while still being pretty big yards. So, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. We own these fields around the back here. So we'll just pop up here to see the ones we own. And they're all grass fields, I think. Yeah, so they're all grass fields up on the edge here. Now, this does look like a... The, the PDA looks like an island, so I'm wondering how close to, to looking at that we can get. And it's just... Okay, sort of. It's The edge of this map is really well done. Oh, wow. Look at that view. So that's looking out across the rest of the map. That is brilliant. We've got a lighthouse down the far end. So we'll go and have a look at that as well. Um, but yeah, look, that's just... That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the detail that Lance Boy puts into his maps. I really, really... Really puts all the effort into it. And it, and it pays off in droves on these. Uh, let's head round here, and I want to head down and round this way, because just round here we've got some sail points, and we've got the shop. So we want to check that out. We've got a, I think that is a garden centre there. A lot less, a lot lower importance the garden centre has uh, in FS19 than it had in earlier versions of the game. The way you've picked up all of the 
fertilizer and things in earlier versions. And here we go. Ian Snow, it's a Fent dealership that we've got on here. And this is a fictional map. This isn't based on anywhere actually in the UK, but it is a British map. Uh, and this is the, uh, yeah, so this is the shop. And then over here, I think we're going to sell, ah, over here. Though it's not marked as such. We've got the straw sell point here, direct, directly opposite the farmyard there. And then we've got the animal market here. So I, that's actually, that's one change I think I will, uh, I'll mention to Lancey is that I don't think the animal purchase area is marked. And I don't know if it's because we don't actually own any animal uh, yards yet. Actually, let's just uh, let's just quickly test this. So uh, we want animals. Don't normally do this on a on a first look, but we do we do uh, animal transport. Sorry, we do need to just quickly check. Should be able to hook this up to the defender. Seeing as we're so close to here let's just see if we can if this animal area is working because it's not marked on the map so that's uh oh yeah there we go because i've not got manual attach on here this trailer is a bit big for this uh but yeah so this is uh this is the animal market and we'll just bring this in here see if this does actually try and fill this trailer right so Yeah, it's not. So the animal area doesn't seem to be working at the moment. So I'll let Lancey know about that. And uh, and he can have a look into that. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's where that is though when it is working. Then we'll head back this way. Or I'm guessing that's where it is. And we'll head over this way. And there's a nice big circular setup on here. That's where we've come from. I want to have a look into, yeah, we've got a load of cell points just to the side here. And, oh, actually, we do have to go all the way through the garden centre in order to get to that. And that's, it's right at the back of it. So we're doing a little bit of backtracking to get to this. But there's one of the things I love about Lancer Boys map is maps are that I get lost in them a lot. <laughs> they are proper mazes every time and they make them it makes them feel absolutely huge if this map didn't feel huge enough already um it, it feels even bigger here uh so i'm guessing this is a slurry cell point or a di maybe even a digestate cell point can we get up here don't think oh no we can't so yeah two cell points here um i I'm presuming that that is one of them. It certainly looks like it. And then, uh, yeah, we've got a second one here. It looks like this could be manure. Might be a manure and a slurry cell point, which is awesome. What if you can sell digestate there as well? That uh, would be interesting. Uh, we'll head out of here and head onto the road. And I want to work my way out this way very meandering and, and so much road on this map but that brings us out here and we're gonna head this way wow this is a gorgeous map really really is we've got a farm down here and this uh looks like what is this is this pigs or this might be pigs or cows no this is cows so i can see the milking set up uh fuel tank there and wow these these yards are just really really well detailed so tight as well I'm trying to get anything other than a, a fairly medium-sized tractor through that gap is going to be fun uh, and yeah the yards are just crammed in here like this and these are all so these are all custom newly built uh, animal sheds i think 
which have some very, very nice detail to them. I know Lance has put an awful lot of work into these, and it's just, yeah. You can see you can see where where that work has been put in because they are absolutely brilliant. Is that uh, that's a gate? Okay, jumping over that, and we do have a cattle grid here. So easy easy to move around this yard without having to open lots of gates. Yep, yeah, there we go. There are the cows, uh, and so yeah, this is the cow yard. Really, really nice, and lots of. Uh, Good matching building. I'm guessing that's a new one as well as it matches the other ones of the cow buildings. Just so much thought's gone into these yard layouts. And it does it does feel like a good British yard where you've crammed as many buildings and as much stuff into as small a space as you're able to. Uh, that is the slurry pit there. Now that could be one of two things. I think this is probably manure. Uh, no, it isn't. I was wrong. This is the silage clamp. So a decent sized cl silage clamp for this farm as well. And uh, yeah, very, very nice yard for us to start off with. We're going to head up here and head anti-clockwise round. Because lots more to look on here. I mean, there, there is so much on this map. And it just feels like a brilliant map it uh, feels like a south coast map this so i'm uh, i'm thinking sussex or uh you know along 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 that south south coast of britain is is really where this map feels like and we've got another farm here how did we get to that one i think ah through this entrance here so this here is a pig farm. Uh, so yeah, brand new pig buildings. Uh, again, more of the same motif in these barns here. So I think these are all new as well. Oh wow, this is this is a gorgeous yard as well. A bit more open than the last one, but still uh, lots of lights and things like that through here. Some good lighting effects. Yeah, these are nice. And these ones too. And we turn that one off. Two uh, switches very close to each other there. Liking that. Uh, good little. Uh, no storage, I don't think. What have we got here, over here? I've got a cell point over here. Oh, wow, this is the yard. Uh, sorry, this is the shop. There we go. So a cell point. A sell point in the market. Absolutely brilliant. A sell point in the farmer's market. I'm guessing this is for eggs or something like that. But yeah, really, really like that. Some great detail in this town. I think we'll end up coming through this on our way back later maybe. But that is, that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's have a look at the uh, the map itself and see where we want to head. Yeah, we want to head out to the sawmill next. So we're going to turn around and head back the other way. Uh, we might as well do it by going through here. Wow, this is so cool, this area. That is one of the nicest pig farms I've seen, I think. Really works well, that. And it's a nice small one, too. So head out this way and we'll head down to the sawmill and we're heading back down. This, there's a lot of uh, elevation to this map. Uh, a lot of movement about, lots of, uh, it feels, it's, it's, there's lots of conflicting things that I feel going around this map. So it feels very enclosed, but at the same time, uh, feels very open. Uh, it's... Uh, it feels big and small at the same time. It's, yeah, it's it's a, a really well done map for that. Uh, we are in the sawmill. That is the cell point nicely marked for the logs. Where is... I don't see a cell point for wood chips. So there doesn't seem to be a wood chip cell point here. So I wonder if that is somewhere else. But uh, yeah, 
sell point for logs is uh, is immediately as you come into there. And if we keep heading around here, we head down to a set of houses, which are down there. Now, do we go down there? Are we going to be cutting through too early? Uh, I don't think so. I think we want to head down here because we want to get down to the port is where I'm trying to head to next. And just sort of get glimpses out of the... Uh, yeah, there's the port down there. So we want to head around here. And this is, as as happens on all of Lance Boys maps, the roads feel so long on here because they, they wind around the map uh, so well and it's just absolutely amazing I'm, I'm blown away by how big this map feels for a, for a standard two times map how huge this feels into the port again a nicely detailed port here we must have a we have a cell point down the far end yep yeah, there's that that's a nice little port with a very big container ship in it. But yeah, sell point down here. I should think that takes most things. And then he'll head back out and back onto the road. Because it's, yeah, it's a, it's a road down to this nice bit of detail. Very nice bit of detail with the uh, forklift driving around. And then we'll head back out. Yeah, this this definitely feels uh, like a South Coast map. Really, really does. Those sudden the sudden drop down towards the port and the the way that it it, it slowly elevates out and and the 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 various elevations that you get as you're you're approaching the the water absolutely feels like that kind of map. As we come to the second pig farm. Let's open this up and go and have a look. And yet yeah, another very nicely laid out pig farm, this one. This, again, this is much more open than the uh, than the cow farm that we saw earlier. Plenty of space. Uh, good starting yard, this. We'll take you, uh, take you round. Interesting that it's got a gate on one side, but is open on the other. Uh, which then takes us down to, well, we've got a couple of things down here, actually. Before we head down there to the VGA, I want to head down this road here to the cell points down here. And I should mention, and you can see it in this field here, there are two additional crops here on, uh, on the console version. So there are uh, extra crops. Uh, I think we've got rye and alfalfa are the two crops you get on that are here on console I am playing of course I, I should mention I'm playing it on PC but this is the console version uh, so this here is the wool cell point so uh, wool and if you do do cotton on here you'd get cotton down here and this looks like a wood chips so yes, wood chips are not at the sawmill. Wood chips are here. Nice. Not often you see wood chips separated uh, between the sawmill, but yeah, that that is the wood chip cell point. Very cool. So yeah, they are not missing. They are down here with the wool. Brilliant. Let's take this back out. Construction work down there. Yeah, uh, no. Um, play area down there and then we've got yeah we've got the bga just over here so we'll head up to the top and bring this down here and have a look at the bga and the bga has two clamps over there for silage uh big silage cell point uh big slurry cell point and well no no digestate purchase point I'm guessing uh, and looks like from the shape of this that we got the manure mod built into this as well on well and obviously not on the on console but when it comes to the PC version 
I think it's he's looking at adding the manure mod by the shape and the setup of that. Uh, yeah, nice big uh, setup here. You'll be able to to tip your um, digest uh, not digest your uh, your silage into that quite well. And then we've got a cell point manure cell point down the side here as well. Brilliant, very very cool. So much put into this map. Really, so much. Very, very happy to see this. And then we're heading up this way. And heading down this road. Now, it looks to me like this road might run out up here. Again, so many roads off and through the farmland and, and things like that. There are, there are always about... 10 to 20 routes that you can take to do anything on Lancy Boy's maps. And uh, and yeah, this map looks to be no exception to that. I'll just have a look because we're heading in a little bit, but there's not a lot to the to here. We want to head south in a moment though. Around about field 39 here because I think this is our route. Ah, yeah, not that not the gateway into that field but down here i think is the route to our sheep farm uh, and also the route down to the lighthouse by the looks of things i i i love the different elevations on this map it allows you to just get a really nice feel for this map and this is this is a perfect example here actually of getting down to the sheep farm how this map is both big and small at the same time. Because that felt like a very long way we had to come to get down to here. And it actually turned out to not be that far. So, uh, yeah. And again, we're... Ooh, there's a gateway there, or a fence there. We don't want to hit that. We have... A really, really nicely laid out farm again. Lots of space for bale storage, uh, which is great when you're working in a sheep farm. And what have we got around? Squeeze out here. There we go. The bay there looking, again, looking very cool. Nicely laid out farm. Lots of space to store stuff. No, no grain store on here. And just the only farm I've seen a grain store at at the moment, I know I'm speaking too soon here, uh, is the uh, is the main uh, the main cow farm. But having said that, I think we've got sheep purchase point here. Yep. So that's where our, we unload. Uh, we've got a feeding trough, and I'm guessing yeah, there's the water trough over there. This will be, I think this must be where the bales spawn, the um, the wool bales spawn. And as I was saying, I must have spoken too soon because I see a, an area around here. Okay. What is... Oh, that's lights. See now, oh no, it's a seed refill. Is... Uh, yeah, seed refill point. So there isn't any storage. There isn't any grain storage or crop storage here, as far as I can see. So yeah, the only yard so far I think I've seen any crop storage is up at the cows. Interestingly enough. Not that you can't put one in, of course. But uh, yeah, interesting that there's... Uh, that's the first one I've seen. Uh, bridge over here as we head down here and i think we've got another cow farm in the middle a nice double date hit a double gate here as we go through and again the the, the woodland areas on here some really nice detail i love how that they're, they're very integral to the map as in they're they're it's just not it's not just an offside bit the forestry there is they are absolutely a bit that you uh, that you end up driving through a lot oh, look at this what he's managed to pull off with uh, with 
with seeing so much of this map at, at various at various lookout points is just brilliant and there are so many of them really really cool let's not look at the ground oh okay we do have how did i manage that yeah so let's see just as a note down by field 111 you have a collision here yeah oh, wow you have a big collision here there's something you've got a surface a very big surface that's making my Land Rover float. Yeah, as I said, this map is 99% done. So, yeah, that is a that is a correction or, or something that uh, that he will uh, he will get on. And uh, and yeah, we have another cattle yard here. So, uh, don't know what that is, but uh, this might be a beef cattle yard actually. Slurry point. Think this again, cattle purchase point. Yeah, there we go. Heads off that way, uh, and then we have feeding and things like that. Where I need to get my debug off again. And that will then take us out to a f another field we own. But yeah, again, nicely laid out yard, really good. This is, yeah, this is the milk loading point. Again, nice set of barns. That must be. Can we get up there? No. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that that is a slurry point as well. Why would. That's interesting. Two slurry points around here is uh, is very interesting. And yeah, we've got this, this floating area here again. Uh, uh, water and uh, yeah, very cool. And we'll head back out this way and head out of here. I think let's have a quick look at the map. Yeah, so nothing, uh, nothing really more to the south. We want to head out of here though and uh, past one of the fields we own, which is 107, and have a look down here and see what we've got over this way wow I just this feels so big this really does right we have a cell point over here uh, that we'll have a look at Which is for, I'm not sure at the moment. Let's have a look. Uh, in we go. Site safety. Uh, I think this is a grain cell point by the looks of things. Or well, certainly a crop cell point in here. Yeah. Uh, nice little crop cell point. Works very, very well. So yeah, a lot of choices, a lot of options on the crop sales on here. And then we're going to head up this way, I think, looking at this map. Yeah, we've got another farm over this way. There's something in the middle of the map that we've not uh, that we've not got up either. This looks like a satellite farm for sheep, and this is the smallest one yet. Wow. Yeah, you could um, you could almost build a farm. This <laughs> you could almost build a farm around this. So it's a single sheep field. You probably end up with sheep walking through your uh, through your farm. But yeah, there's the sheep field. Uh, spawn point for wool. And we've got feeding troughs and things. Single shed in here. So yeah, this is a this is a summer field for sheep. Which uh, again, I like that a lot. I like that there's. Lots of maps are beginning to do this, where you you have areas that you can buy and transport your sheep sheep to, 
uh, during summer in seasons, which is really quite cool. Uh, it means you uh, you end up with the grass being uh, not not all eaten if you have a large flock, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. And I think we've got another farm just over that way there. So let's take this in. And have a look in here at this as well. So this is the one I was talking about being in the middle of the map. Uh, that we hadn't got anywhere near yet. And I think this is, is this another cow yard. This might be another cow yard. Unless it's the... No, this isn't the back of one we've already been to. Oh, it's opening towards me. Or is this? No, this is. This is the back of the cow yard we've already looked at. Because that's the... Yeah, so we've already been here. So this is this is why I mean about Lancer Boys maps and me getting utterly lost. Is that we've come all the way round and all the way back and come into the cow yard from the opposite direction. Uh, so what I do want to do is try and head down here and see if we can make it across field 71. Yeah, we can. And down to this yard here because I don't think think we've done this yard over here so we'll head up head up that way or head down that way this is i get so lost on lancer boys maps i really do and that's i mean we haven't uh, uh, other than a little bit of backtracking uh, out of the port and uh, and to get into the garden center We've ended up, <laughs> we've, we've, we've managed to meander our way around this map and not use the same road twice yet and end up at different places. And here we have what I think is the arable yard by the looks of this. Nicely in the middle of the map, very well positioned. And it is, yeah, and these look like grain stores. But certainly, yeah, they would certainly work as such. You got the uh, you got the air vents and everything. Uh, proper barn with uh, with doors. Yeah. And we've got what have we got over here? Ah, there we go. Proper grain store. There we are. Tip that in there, and that is a storage area. And I'm guessing the other arrow we've got. So that that would be root crop storage, I think. And then the other arrow we've got over this way. Uh, we've got fuel here and round the corner. Yeah, we've got a seed point there. So, yeah, very nice. I like this yard. And nicely in the middle of, uh, of your arable setup. Plus, an area to build stuff if you want to. That is very cool. And so with that, is there anywhere else on this map we actually need to visit? We have, ah yes, we do have one area that uh, I've now got to see if I can work out how to get out of here south, uh, which hopefully, yes. I think if we take this road here, we can get out on to uh, the road by field 107 again and that will then take us down and we can go and check out the chickens i haven't seen anywhere for horses uh on here interestingly enough and here we are and this again this is a different way out of here we've, we've gone through the middle of the map and we're only going to to cross a path we've already done for a very short period of time. Because we're back down here at the cell point. The, the little cell point we looked at. And this time, we're going straight over. So we'll head up here. Again, and over to this farm here. Oh, there's my entrance. We've got something a little bit further along as well. Could be a, could be a town, I think. 
but yeah, we've got chickens in here. So we've got another yard in here. We've got another place to store uh, crops, uh, which is very, very useful, actually, with chickens. There's, uh, there's our chicken area in there. And, uh, oh, wow. Now, something I like about Field 82 here. Nice flat field right on the edge of a farmyard. You could build a very big farm here. You could you could expand this and build a very big farmyard here. So this is almost this is almost a placeables area, but it's set up as a as a field. I like that an awful lot. Immediately I went, that's that's flat enough to build on. So yeah, this is this is a farm that you could go and expand if you wanted. I wonder actually because I haven't actually looked at the price of things yet. We'll go We'll go over to this last bit. We'll go and look at this last area down here. Uh, and then we'll have a quick look at the prices on this map. Um, and then I've got, I've got a good feel for this map now. And I think I have an idea of what uh, equipment setup would do very well. And it does kind of depend on things. And in fact, yeah, here we go. We've got a little bit more area. For this yard so it'll be interesting to see if those are brought together but yeah more more space uh, a good another good satellite yard to start up uh, i like that so that pretty much covers all the features of this map in general looks like we can continue down this road to the beach uh but uh yeah there are a few areas of the map we didn't make it to uh but uh yeah there it's a very nice map this really nice map Let's have a quick look at our field prices. So uh, we've got areas to purchase, which is great. Uh, largest area looking at this um, seems to be this one here, I think, uh, which is uh, 589,000. So that tells you a bit about the size of the map. Uh, it's, uh, it's not even the largest area to purchase is not that expensive uh the outer edge of the map costs nothing which is good uh, along with a few areas inside the map uh bga is that the bga up there i can't remember where the bga was oh that's the bga there isn't it so that is uh, fifty-eight thousand. so a nice affordable bga i'm beginning to look for that on maps now as well the BGA needs to be something that, that can be purchased on its own and is uh, is nice and affordable. And this map definitely fits that criteria as well. Uh, so, yeah, decent sized, uh, decent priced fields. Smallest area, uh, 78,000 for field 46. Do I see anything smaller than that? I don't think so. Most of it is, is grouped areas. So, uh, yeah, very few fields that are single purchase ones on here, which I like. I do. I do actually like that um, these days. Uh, nothing. Yeah. Or oh, one seventy two for one hundred and fourteen down the bottom there. Otherwise, nothing. Interestingly, it looks like you can't get to the lighthouse. It's, it is separated from the rest of the map. Uh, so, yeah, good prices on all of that. Um, and then, as I said, you don't actually have much. Well, no, you don't have anything in your garage. Uh, we, uh, I added the Land Rover in. You get a Lizard pickup uh, as it stands at the moment. Uh, I bought the Betamax and uh, a Betamax. Uh, and then uh, there's a few bits here. You've got the coffee shop, which is decorative. The farmhouse. Uh, nice. I, I think this is a custom farmhouse for this map as well. Very nice. Uh, you've got the grain silo we were talking about at the uh, main farm. So yeah, there wasn't a, there wasn't a silo at the the cow farm like I thought. That was at the main arable farm. This was uh, at the chicken farm that we just looked at. So yeah, that is uh, that is all good. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, but what equipment would I have on this map? I think. We would want, I'd go with a medium tractor. So I'd throw in something like uh, a, uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe one of these three. Uh, these got, actually, it's a, it's a Fent dealership, isn't it? So I'd probably throw in a 700 Vario, 165 horsepower. Great little tractor for this map. 
I think that would work well on here. I would also throw in with it something a little bit larger, maybe. Uh, although you get to the 900 and you're getting at 300 horsepower, so I think I would uh, I would throw in something like a, uh, maybe a T7, a low level to T7, or. A Puma. I throw in the uh, this 700 Vario. What does this go up to? Yeah, so the the 724 that goes up to a uh, uh, 240. So there we go. Actually, that's better. I'd put a 724 Vario in, uh, and then along with that, I would then put uh, a 500 Favre in, and I'd throw that up to its top. So 150 with that, and maybe put a front loader on that. And so you've got a nice old fence and a nice new fence on here. Uh, I would then give you some basic equipment too. I think you don't want anything more than a... Uh, yeah, I'd put the TK TKD302 in on here. Uh, I would also add... I think I would also add one of these, but in the in that configuration. So you've got you've got a, a, a basic baling trailer as well. Uh, as for harvesters, I would probably go with yeah. I would I would be very tempted. I think to put the that Nova is tiny. I think I'd I'd give a a, a TX New Holland. On here, yeah, I'd give that as a starting combine on here. Tempted to do the Massey uh, with the Agco setup, but yeah, I think it'd be between those two, uh, depending on how generous uh, Lancey was feeling. Uh, then, uh, yeah, I don't think we need particularly any other equipment there. Uh, I would go for so header. You're looking at either the TX32 header. Or you're looking at the uh, free flow header. And you see the difference between those. 7.6 meters and 4 meters. So that is really how... Uh, and actually, I think and going on that, I would I would, I would, would go with the Massey. I'd give the Massey as a starting uh, harvester on here. Uh, I would only give it one of those headers. I wouldn't give it a corn header or anything like that off the get-go. Uh, I would also put a plow in. I would go with the Agromass, I think. The POH5 uh, is a good size one. Uh, I would then put in a cultivator as well. We've got about two, just over 200 horsepower to play with on the cultivator. I think, yeah, none of those cultivators are going to work. So maybe a disc harrow. Yeah, there we go. I'd put in the Amazon Catros uh, disc harrow uh, for uh, for a cultivator. Uh, I would give a cedar, but not a planter. And with the setup you got there, I think I would I would probably give the Vatistad Rapid uh, six meters, decent size for this map. So yeah, I'd probably go with that. Uh, I would also give, yep, I think I'd give the uh, the coon setup for the sprayers. Maybe, maybe just the rear one, uh, and uh, and leave that to be something that can be bought if the if whoever comes in wants to get it. But yeah, I'd do the rear one with a with a weight uh, for the older one. Uh, I would then uh, also get. Basic mower, so I'd give the uh, I'd give that Coon GDM I uh, GMD I think. So the idea here being not to give everything. It depends on what setup you're going for as well. If you're setting it up for a cow farm, I think you need uh, I think you need that. I I think you need uh, one of those. I would do that wind rower. So the uh, GA9531 uh, uh, and then a, oh, on this map, if you wanted to, yeah, if you wanted to be a lot of fun, 
Uh, I would put the roll belt on here. Uh, just to, yeah, just to make it really, really interesting. Uh, and then I think you want... I wouldn't say anything in here. I, I, maybe, actually, I'd probably start people with an Aquatrans and a Warzy. I don't see any map started with that. And this is one of my favourite bits of kit. I would I would give uh, the front loader version of that. Yeah, that one. Uh, the the DE 50, 55, 551FL, I think, would be a good starting bit there. Uh, and to go with those, no animal transport, I would give an FZ30 uh, with a bale spike. And a universal bucket, uh, I think, would be a good start there. And uh, then, as I said, I think you need a header trailer for the Massey. So that's going to be... I don't think you'll... Yeah, you might fit it on the 24. So I'd, I'd go with the 24. I much prefer that to the, the dollied version. Uh, and then, uh, as I said, I think you need a couple of weights. So, uh, yeah, I would give uh, a couple of these Agco... Uh, 1,000 kilogram weights. I think those would be good as well. Um, and uh, and yeah, basically that is the equipment setup I'd go for. Uh, I think that's a nice balanced one for here. Would do you quite well. Uh, you're not looking at a combine that's way too massive for this map. Because I don't think you're going to need anything other than medium and small equipment on here. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave this. That is Lancey Boy's brand new map, Oak Hill. Uh, I love it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous map. Um, lots of variation to it. Lots of gorgeous new buildings on it. Um, absolutely wonderful layout. Uh, up to Lancey Boy's normal, excellent standard. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is soon to be released for PC, uh, Mac, uh, Xbox One and PS4. Uh, this is the console version we've had a look at. The PC version will have some extra features on it. I, I believe he's going to add Maze Plus stuff into the uh, PC version. So, uh, but uh, uh, as I was saying earlier, we've got the you've got the extras of Alfalfa and Rye on here as well. So uh, yeah, console will have extra crops, which is awesome as well um so yeah when it comes out give it a try give it a check out i think you're gonna love this map i'm certainly looking forward to it um and with that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this first look please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye